Hello, and welcome back to Virtual Camp McLean. On the docket today, we have Lauren with art, Miss Christina reading a book for our tots, and another fitness activity with Coach Ben. So what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Hi guys, it's Lauren again, here to do another fun craft, this time with some yarn. So this yarn craft project, you'll need a shoe box or any type of lid um, that you're not using, and we're gonna decorate it with yarn. So nothing fancy here, I just put some construction paper to start off with my base. Um, you're gonna need lots of yarn, preferably different colors in sizes so I cut up a bunch of different uh, lengths so I have all my yarn here just in case I need more and some white glue and scissors so let's get started all right so first my box is ready I'm gonna grab some glue I'm actually gonna take off the lid because I need a lot of glue um, and I'm gonna put some glue on part of my box here like so and start taking a piece and there's no right or wrong way to do this project so just experiment have fun i'm just going to swirl some of this string here and then glue it down so we're going to make just really fun shapes with our yarn and cover the entire box so mom and dad might want to help or make their own i'm not sure but it's going to be pretty fun so I'm gonna start laying it down. Your hands might get sticky. If you want, you can keep a wet paper towel just to clean your hands off when you get some glue on your fingers. Okay, so we have our first color down just like that. And I'm gonna continue covering the entire space with yarn. guys I'm back and here is my finished product of my yarn art I filled up the whole inside space um, I have some more space here on the edges so I could fill them up if I want to or even on the other side totally up to you I like my finished look here I can't wait to see what you guys have made and don't forget to post it on the McLean Community Center Facebook page don't forget also to use the hashtag Camp McLean 2020. Bye guys, see you next time. Thanks, Lorian. Next up is Miss Christina with story time. Hi friends, my name is Miss Christina. I'm with the Tots. Today we are going to read Daddy Makes the Best Spaghetti by Anna Hines. When Daddy picks me up at the daycare center and takes me to the grocery store, he says, well, Corey, what shall we have for dinner today? Spaghetti, I say. Daddy makes the best spaghetti. He lets me push the cart and I remind him not to forget the hamburger. Sometimes Daddy plays a joke on me. How much for this sack of potatoes, he asks. Those are free today, says the clerk. Great bargain, Daddy says. I'll take them. He's so silly. At home, I help Daddy cook. I find the right lids for the pots and I wash the vegetables. And I set the table, one, two, three, one for daddy, one for mommy, and one for me. When mommy comes home, she says, hello, my dears. Daddy makes antlers and gives her kisses. Yum, says mom. Something smells good. 
It's spaghetti, I say, and I helped. Mommy gives us a hug and gives us our dinner. This spaghetti is especially good, she says. After dinner, I help mommy with the dishes. I like to make lots of bubbles. Look, mommy. Looks like Bubble Mountain, she says. Look at our Bubble Mountain, daddy, I say. But daddy's gone. Uh-oh, I say, I think it's happening again, mommy says with big eyes. Then comes, ta-da, ta-da, Bathman. He swoops me up and he flies me right into the tub. He makes the boats go fast and they splash. Then the washcloth turns into a sea monster that nibbles my toes and my ears and my nose. Stop, monster, I say, it tickles. I get lost in the great big towel. Oh no, daddy says, I've lost Cory. What will mommy say? And who will help me make spaghetti? So I pop out and I say, don't worry, I will. But daddy's gone. Where can he be? Not behind the shower curtain, not behind the door. Not in the hallway. Uh-oh, woof, woof. Oh, silly dog, those aren't ears, I say, they're feet. I don't believe it, daddy says. So I show him how low they go. Snap, 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 and all done. I'm done too, says mommy as we sit on the couch. One, two, three, with me all cozy in between while mommy reads a story. Then daddy carries me to bed. Mommy tucks me in and we have kisses. One, two, three, one for mommy, one for daddy, and two for me. The end. Thanks, Miss Christina. Next up is Coach Ben with fitness. Hey campers, Coach Ben here. Who's ready for a good old fashioned fair game? Today we have the wheelbarrow race. Now this race requires at least two people, so Dr. Chris is gonna be helping me today. Say what? It's all right, you'll be fine. But before we get started, grab a friend and let's hop into some warm ups. I'm not, I, we gotta talk about that. I did music, I don't sum up, this is my thing. Let's start with some jumping jacks. Next, we have shoulder rotations. Hold your arms straight out to the side and move them in a circular motion. Now let's do arm swings. Hold your arms straight out to the side, swinging and crossing them in front of your chest. Our last exercise is the 10 yard sprint. When you're ready, sprint from the start line to finish line. For this race, you will need an outdoor play space and a partner. Before we begin, let's mark our start and finish lines. Next, while standing behind the start line, have one person stand on their hands while their teammate stands behind them, holding their ankles. On go, work together to cross the finish line as fast as you can. If it is just you and your teammate, race against yourselves and see if you can beat your best time. You can switch roles with your teammate after each turn. If you are playing against another team, the first team to cross the finish line wins the race. Well, there's another classic game I'm sure everyone enjoyed. We want to see you guys in action. So be sure to post your fun to our Community Center's Facebook page using the hashtag Camp McLean 2020. Be sure to look out for more videos and stay active for at least 60 minutes each day. This is Coach Ben signing off. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Special thanks to Lauren, Miss Christina, and Coach Ben for providing today's activities, as well as our behind the scenes team. Please make sure you share your videos and pictures with us on our Facebook page, and don't forget to use the hashtag CampMcLean2020. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.